Hey guys, welcome back to another Angular tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how you can fix the error which occurs when, um, let's just, which occurs when your routing doesn't work after you uh, upload your Angular project to a um, just hosting service. So to demonstrate this problem, uh, I've already built this project. Uh, was, this was actually in a previous tutorial, but yeah, basically I built this project. It has some routing, so I'm hosting this locally. If I go to a title page here, you'll see that it's got another page, and uh, we've actually I've uh, built it. So I'm actually going to cd into the disk and run that using live server. Go into this, and we'll just go here. And uh, what's going on here? Let's see if anything's happening. Uh, you style slash. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, uh, that makes sense. Uh, give me a second. I forgot to cd into the Angular app. Okay, yeah, so I'm just going to try and demonstrate this problem here. Okay, so here's our app. This is different from this because this is actually just the vanilla JavaScript version, which has been, you know, um, which has been compiled down, uh, but if we try and access that second route, like so, then you'll see it actually doesn't work. And this is going to also be a problem when you upload it to a hosting service like Firebase or Azure or something. So there's actually multiple ways of fixing it. Um, there's one way which works, which is like guaranteed to work on Azure and things, uh, but I'm not too sure if it's guaranteed to work locally. So I'll, try, I'll show you that way first and then. I'll just show you another way, although that is a lot less reliable. So, yeah, we'll show you. The, I'll show you the reliable way first. Okay. So, first reliable way is what you want to do is you actually want to go to your source project, and you just want to click on new file, and we're going to call this file web.config. Okay. So once you've done that, uh, let's just close this. Once you've done that, we can go into here and. Uh, basically just gonna have to copy and paste this. I'll put a link to this. This is just one of my other projects uh, which I've like used before but basically just copy and paste all of this put this in here and yeah that's basically all you need to do. So we'll put this in there and then there's also one last thing we need to do uh, which is go to the angular.json navigate to the build section then assets and what you want to do is you just want to also add the source which we've just added to source slash web.config like so okay so I'm actually going to test uh, if this is going to work so I'm going to build it and let's just close this so yeah and we'll just wait for this okay and let's just run it again okay so I'm not too sure if this method works locally uh, we can try it anyway though so title and yeah okay so that doesn't work locally so there's also one more work one more thing we can do if we go to the app module and this way is a bit less reliable but we can still try it so first thing we want to uh, do is we want to go here and we want to import the hash location strategy and the just location strategy like so. Okay. Um, once we've located that, we can go to the provider section, which is usually empty, and we can do something like providers or uh, okay, yeah, that's what we are. So we want to do provide <coughs> location strategy like so, and use class hash location strategy like that okay so what this actually attempts to do is it's just gonna put a um, it's basically gonna like put a hashtag in our URL to try and make it less dynamic if that makes sense so let's just test it actually I should build it again like that So yeah, I'm not actually sure if this way is going to work, although if you upload it to a hosting service then mo both of these methods should work fine. So yeah, once that works, you can see there's a hash here. So now if I were to go to the title page like so, oh, 
what is this? Alright, sure, I guess. Um, I've got no idea what's just happened. Let's try and navigate over there. Okay. And okay, yeah, there we go. So now that seems to, that seems to have fixed it locally. Obviously, I guess the hash there can be a bit annoying, which is why if you want, you can use this other method. But if you need to test it locally for whatever reason, then you can also use this. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye.